Hello. <coughs> Sorry, I still have a cough, and I still have a nose thing. Although I sound a little better, right? Do I sound normal? Do I sound different when I'm sick? Is it just me? Am I imagining it? Probably. It's all psychosomatic and... Uh, mm. Here's to you. It is Friday! Thank goodness. I still have never listened to that song, so I can't sing that song about Friday. Sorry. Uh, once again, I don't have any control over figuring out how to make my lips and what I'm saying match up. I still suspect that if the raw Windows movie file is over about 200 megs, that's when we start having problems, but I can't prove it. But since it's about, I think, 30 megs a minute, anything over seven minutes usually, and again, that changes too. It's got something to do with the fact that when the lights are on and it's able to refresh the frame as often as it is, that takes up more than if I were to turn the lights off. I'll just turn the lights off right now. Now you get that. It turns out that this camera is actually pretty good at picking me up uh, in the dark. But you can see that now instead of going 30 frames a second, it looks like I'm about four or five frames a second. And so now even if I am out of phase and out of sync, you really can't tell anyway because the camera isn't able to move my lips fast enough. How's your lips? All right, let's turn it back on. Someday, when I plan ahead, that'll never happen, but I'll turn on all the candles and all the LEDs and we'll just have all those and we'll just do it by that light instead. We'll see what that looks like. Won't that be fun? It's currently 6.34 p.m., and the current temperature is probably 8 degrees, but I will bring it up just to get a re refresh. <coughs> current temperature is 8 degrees. When I woke up today, it was above zero, thank goodness. It was also snowing. And it had been so long since there was actual snow on the ground while I was driving that I temporarily forgot how to drive. And so did everyone else in the state of Minnesota and in the state of Wisconsin. It's just awful, people forgetting how to drive. And mine was limited to one bout of going too fast and then hitting the brakes and not stopping and getting that kind of panic. It's like, oh, geez, oh, man, I hope I stop eventually. As the brakes lock up and you just kind of <clears throat> skid across. Uh, I did not hit the truck in front of me, but uh, I flirted with it. But you only have to make that mistake once, and then you, you're pretty careful the rest of the trip. Unfortunately, everyone else uh, needs to take more than one chance. I didn't see anybody have an accident, though. There's just a lot of a lot of really too close calls. And apparently there were at least 600, 700 reports. I follow MnDOT traffic. MnDOT is the Minnesota Department of Transportation. It's the Caltrans of Minnesota, for those of you in California. And they have a very active Twitter feed which unfortunately just completely takes over when there's weather like this because there's report after report after report of vehicle off the road or vehicle spin out or crash. And the official totals for the state, I think, was over 700 by the time it was all said and done. Uh, I don't have a recent tweet to confirm that, but you'll have to take my word for it. Even as we speak, MnDOT is throwing stuff up there. And it's kind of... Like, one of those things where you're like, gosh, geez, I really don't want to drive home. But I do want to get home. So, it's going to have to happen. But I think I'm going to try to go to the grocery store. I believe this is one of those occasions where it's not, if it was snowing tomorrow, everybody and their uncle would be at the grocery store hunkering down because we got to have, you know, our 50-day supply of uh, fluff. I don't know. Peanut butter. Peanut butter and fluff. That actually sounds pretty good. But because it has already snowed and is not scheduled to snow at least until Sunday, it'll probably be a ghost town at the grocery store. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I want to get in and out. There's some stuff that I need, really need. We need some milk. We need some something to eat. Some real food to eat would be good. And I have to have something good for the upcoming game. The big game. The Minnesota Timberwolves taking on the Los Angeles Clippers. Kevin Love versus Blake Griffin. None of the other people on the court matter. Only Kevin Love and Blake Griffin. 
Well, we'll see about that. There's a guy named Ricky Rubio that may have something to say about that. I'm hopeful. I still don't expect the Timberwolves to win. I'm hopeful they will look impressive enough that people will want to consider watching them on television again. This is a big deal because it's the ESPN game. Right now, it's the only ESPN game for the Timberwolves. Uh, all the other national games, there are three or four NBA TV ones, and they can win that Tuesday weekly poll if there's a Tuesday game. The fans can vote them in. But other than tonight, I mean, this is a real showcase for the Timberwolves, and I hope they take advantage of it and show how exciting they are. And even though there's a lot of injured guys right now, the guys that are left may just be good enough to surprise some folks, especially the Clippers fans. But I'm hoping 38 after the hour. Thank you. Eight degrees. Let me tell you about traffic. No. Sorry, Cubs. That uh, it'll at least be interesting enough for us to maybe talk about on the W later tonight. I may not be, though. Our cable's been out. Our cable, our cable internet has been out since 3.30 in the morning on Wednesday. Someone from Comcast is coming tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Like the one Saturday where there isn't something going on. There's no football. There's no NASCAR. There's nothing but excuses to sleep in. I'm getting up at 8.30 to meet the Comcast guy so he can take some signals and hopefully not just swap out some cables or a cable modem, but maybe go outside the house and like work on something to determine why we can't get the cable modem to lock onto a signal and give me internet. Do you know what it's like not having internet when you're me? Well, I'm stealing it from a neighbor, but don't tell anybody. And that neighbor shouldn't be setting up their Wi-Fi for just anybody to use anyway. It's nothing but trouble. All right. Coming up on seven minutes, but I was going to tackle some questions on the W. J.J. Dean asks, how dare you not like the Kia hamster ads? Call me crazy. I don't like Kia hamster ads. I will go try to find the one you're talking about to see if it's different from the one I hate. I reckon it won't be. In fact, now I, I'm not sure if I've seen it or not. I'm sure by the time I see it, I'll go, like, oh, yeah, I hate that one too. But we'll wait and see. I could be wrong. <sighs> I've noticed a lack of profanity thus far. You don't abstain from profanity. Is that a conscious decision by you, or do you just not drop a whole lot of F-bombs regularly? Uh, I guess I'm a good example for everybody. I try just to swear for shock value, and that's about it. So, no, I don't swear very often. And I don't do that when I write either, I think you've noticed. I just tend to be kind of boring and prudish that way. But I know the words. I'll say fuck if I have to. But uh, I don't want to get into a habit of doing that anyway. There could be children watching. And if so, I'm very sorry that I said that word earlier. Uh, let's see. Am I doing anything special for the football games cooking-wise? I have had the ingredients in place to assemble to make a, a really great split pea soup for a month, six weeks. I really got to get together all my ingredients and do that. I probably do it tonight uh, when I'm not watching basketball and cook it overnight and maybe have it tomorrow, Sunday. Maybe. Oh, there's a special Chinese New Year dinner tomorrow I'm going to, actually. So I can't have split pea soup then. So maybe I'll try to have it ready for the games on Sunday, which means I would probably start it on Saturday. And I mean, when I say that, I mean like I gotta cut up some onions and put it in a crock pot and throw a hunk of salt pork in there. But that's really the only special thing I have. There'll be some uh, generic salty snacks that I shouldn't be eating and uh, chips and crackers or whatnot. Uh, who's gonna win? Who is who is gonna be in the Super Bowl? Ever since the Packers lost, I've completely stopped caring. But I will take a look at the games. Who's in it? We got the Giants at San Francisco. God, I hate both those teams so much. I don't like either of them. Uh, 49ers, why not? Ravens and Patriots. Oh, gosh. Patriots will probably win, but I will not be rooting for them. So your Super Bowl will be a rematch. 49ers-Patriots. That was a Super Bowl, wasn't it? I think it was. Who wins a fight between Sheldon from Big Bang Theory and Horshack from Welcome Back, Cotter? I have never seen Big Bang Theory, but Horshack kicks everyone's ass. Horshack is always the answer. Dex's Midnight Jogger wants me to know his first name is Jeff. I hope I remember that, Jeff. Otherwise, you're going to be Dex's Midnight Jogger forever. 
My time's up. Thank you once again for sitting through another week. I love you. I'll see you on Monday.